so a lot of developments has happened over the last 24 hours kind of thing let me give you a summary a few hours ago i finally uploaded my video where i read through the documents which were quote unquote proving dream preyed on a 16 year old um i read through them it was an absolute waste of my life i wish i didn't even ha read a single page of it because it was boring and I could tell that it was just a bunch of bullshit, really, just because of the fact that no information made sense. I think I even addressed this in the video. It was constantly giving information which didn't match up. It was just ridiculous to work through. And then it called itself consistent and well-written, as if it was written by some kind of child. So I, I never really had big hopes for it, which is kind of why I sat there joking around throughout half the video. If I thought it was a serious video then I would have taken it dead serious, not a single joke, serious read-through, but it just, I knew something was off about it, and I think I was onto something, because it turns out that in less than 24 hours, that entire thing has been broken down, and basically just laughed at with one post. Again, this was shown to me by Murphy Lurpy, so credit Murphy Lurpy for actually showing me what I'm about to show you now, but... This, um, this, this is interesting. I, I want to share it with you guys. So, this post here, I have scoured the internet and I cannot find its origins. So, I have truly no idea where this came from. But, it's a message saying, My name is Jamie, I want to make it very clear that I was never groomed. I definitely am not a victim of dream. Uh... I don't even know where to begin with this. So, half the document was written about Jamie. The other half was just written about random, just gibberish, really. There was an entire page on proving that Jamie's old account was called Swoofy. And the only things that happened on that account was things like purple guy fan art, conversations about Shrek memes and selfies, and nothing really of value. You could have actually left out that detail, and I don't think it would have affected it much. But this post, which again, I can't find any um, original source for, so I'm not going to treat it as if it's 100% true, because it might not be. But this, if it is true, this proves everything. And it, this is kind of what it felt like was happening. It did feel like someone else just took Jamie's story and manipulated it to be a dream is a paedophile story. Because it just, it didn't match up. Something was missing and I think this was it. So I would actually believe this if someone said, yep, it's real. I can't find the source to it. I can't find the origins to it. And so far, no one's been able to validate this. This is 100% real. This was made by Jamie. This was posted by Jamie. You know, anything like that. But it seems to disprove everything that happened yesterday. Along with this, I've also been shown two conversations or two screenshots of a conversation on what I think is Twitter. But I can't really make any sense of the conversation. I can't even figure out if it's related to Dream. The person who posted these screenshots, however, you know, let me show them to you. Okay, so the first screenshot of the conversation basically depicts two people in some kind of argument over who the centre of attention should be. From what I can understand, the argument is about someone who's tired of someone else basically constantly talking about them. I would make a rough guess and say that this is Jamie and that they're saying that they're tired of whoever made up the 24-page document, you know, using their name to lie about Dream. Again, we can't confirm any of this and that is just speculation on the really rough evidence we've been given. So don't treat what I'm saying here like fact, this is mere speculation. But that's how this first message comes across. Because, again, the thing that really makes me think this is this sentence here. You deserve to be forced into privating everything. That is exactly what Jamie did after the quote-unquote accusations. Jamie privated their account and disappeared from the internet. So, that is what makes me think this could be Jamie here. 
But again, that's speculation. There's not really anything to suggest what's going on here. I mean, whoever this person is on this side is absolutely brain dead. Cigarette emoji. Oh, you lied about everything. I'm such a cold bastard. It's just... Ugh, just I, I want to call it toxic, but I can deal with toxic people. This is just pathetic. So, whoever this guy is, they suck. And again, I'm going to assume this is Jamie because of the context. The second screenshot doesn't really help much either. Girl, can you stop talking to me? You're killing the vibe. I am not taking your word for it when I can watch the video. It's just... Uh... Congratulations, someone made a video about something that's absolutely fat. Alright, watch this. Tomorrow, I'm going to post a video saying, Oh my god, guys, the earth is flat. That doesn't mean it's true. That's, 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 that's what's going on here. Whoever is the person in the blue texts is just so fucking brain dead. Their skull is just so fucking dense. For I can't even understand... What's going on right now? I just, I can't figure it out. I, I truly can't figure it out. So. But we can ignore both of those. And let's go to the original poster. Right here. I, d I <sighs> This feels even more brain dead. Mostly because I can't figure out what's happening here on Twitter. I, I don't even understand. Let me zoom in a little bit. Let's really cook with Twitter today. Let's read some of these comments. Where now I really can't wait for her to check her mailbox. What's... What's... What? So... This person in the conversation who I'm assuming is Jamie... Did not jump on the bandwagon of bullying Dream... And now this person's like, yep, I'm going to put a firebomb in their mailbox. That's what they get for not, you know, teaming up with us to get rid of Dream. Cleared. What the hell does this even mean? Actually, what's the responses to this? Four days until I'm 21. Oh my god, you sad sucker. Cleared. What does this mean? Um, some kind of dream supporter. You cooked. Oh hell no. Nah. Whose side are you on? I know your. I know your literal username says support dream, but hell no. Nah. Which side are you on in this argument? You did your shit with this. Right there. Again, this seems like it's on the side of the blue person, and I'm assuming that the other person is Jamie. So again, this feels like, hey, they didn't team up with us to beat up Dream. Now we're gonna fucking get them. You know what? As much as I'd rather see what's going on with Belle Delphine, hell, I would rather pay her only fans. Let's go see what's happening on hashtag dream is a freak. Because we might as well since we're here. Give me likes for my lazy tweet. Any fictional character, him. I mean, Omni-Man is technically a fictional character. Omni-Man's got that dream bod. Fuck. Let's see who wins Lady Navia <laughs> dream. I'm waiting to see one of these where Dream wins. Fuck what? Oh my god, this... Oh, Captain Kate Taylor's version, the cringiest username in human history. And that's coming from someone whose first YouTube channel was called The Emerald Minecart. I was bullied in my entire life at school. But yet, somehow you deserve it more than me just for setting your username to be this. This is why I support bullying, actually. Some people need to be bullied. I am Wylan Venek. Real. Some people deserve to be bullied.
This little goblin makes an apology. Okay, hold on. Why is he a goblin? I don't think he meets the physical stature of a goblin, but okay, sure, maybe that's just your insult. But all he does is yap on about all drama and fucking gumball instead of trying to argue his statement. Well, well, dumbass. Why have you posted this with it? This, this is just kind of cringy. Because it's completely irrelevant. But it's because he made that video when the gumball stuff was trending. When the gumball trend started happening, he made a tweet saying, I'm going to make a video talking about it. That's when he started working on this video. This video wasn't made about the stuff in the last 24 hours. It was made about previous drama. The, the internet's just full of morons. Let's see who wins. Dream or dog. Mm. I, I don't know, that looks like a good boy. That looks like a good boy. But he is stealing my Pepsi. Pespi. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna put Pespi. Glad to see the important shit trending. Oh, I'm sorry, is France not important? I'm sorry. Is France not important? Absolute dickhead. He censored out something in France. Absolute dickhead. But of course! How to brainwash ch- <laughs> But of course! <laughs> oh, bro. Well, again, for video, he started working on it ages ago. It's not about anything recent, dumbass. How stupid can you be? To trim his fire. Where the fuck has this picture come from? I'm assuming it was in the video. Please do not watch his allegations video because he monetizes videos. So use ad blocker lads. You disabled comments. This is the really sad thing. Now you're just rigging it in your favor. That's what the internet's already doing. But you know what? Fight me, internet. Fight me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Big man. I'll kick your fucking ass.